So I'm in Kamata, which is home base for me in Japan, and it's lunchtime, so there's usually a lunch rush. People scrambling to get a bite. Um, a lot of restaurants. I would venture to I dare to say, I would dare to say most places are quite small. Ten seaters, twenty seaters tops. Um, it's totally expected to, uh, you usually find lines at places, um, some wait times, sometimes it's just impossible to get a meal, uh, so you'll just have to go next door practically. That's uh, how ubiquitous eateries are. Um, right now I want to get, it is a hot day, it's hot, 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 humid, like 80 some odd, maybe 90% humidity here. And I'm gonna get some cold noodles. I am curious as to what I can find. So we just sat down for lunch and it is a sort of buckwheat noodle with um, minced daikon radish. Dashi, which is the dipping sauce with onions and some wasabi for spice and flavor. And so you combine the broth with the onion with the radish and you dip the buckwheat noodles into that broth. I have arrived. That radish and broth is so good. It's so refreshing on a hot day. The cold noodles. So refreshing on a hot day. We just sat down for dinner and behold the joys of Japanese cuisine. Wow. And that is called Teishoku style, where you have multiple little dishes surrounding a central dish, which you see roasted lotus root salad with chicken, carrots, eggplant, peppers, and just a whole lot of good stuff. I mean, just look at this salad. Miso soup, pickles, yeah. Rice, rice, and a side salad. This is how my food is brought to me. So this is called Oyakodon, and this is the presentation. Let's see what's inside. Oh boy. And it's egg with some grilled chicken and rice underneath this beautiful mix of ingredients and I'm super excited. Take the nori, and you apply it to the dish with some seasoning. Alright. You see, like, getting a good bite.
Thank you.